good morning my dear students so today i am going to discuss about the demographic transition theory which is included in your paper 4016 geography honors course students so whenever we talk about the theory of a particular subject then now uh, we are actually discussing about uh, which is about some evidences some examples and some other experiences gathered by different geographers philosophers social scientists and a lot so theorization of population is a very difficult task and it is very important that this type of uh, theorization process in population geography is very much old so many of the economist like ricardo david ricardo thomas robert malthus then notestin then adam smith they are concerned about the population size about the population number so why it is very important because it is important because this plays a very important role as we know that it is a demographic transition theory so we have to know what demography is demography is nothing else but it is the study of human population so human geographers also study the human population and their different characteristics the characteristics like population size population compositions then fertility then mortality then migration then age then marriage and all this so there is some similarities between these two subject demography and population geography but population geography generally they studies the space as we know that the special characteristic the space the space which is modified by the presence of man over the surface of the earth is very important for the geographer to study so the population size and how it is related to the different different areas different regions different countries so now i am going to discuss the main theme about this demographic transition theory which is actually formulated by frank w notestin in 1945 population condition he says that population condition is a function of the birth rate then death rate and the population migration which changes over time and over space so it is nothing else but an experiences gained in different stages of human societies it may be 100 years for a particular society to stay the population size in a same manner like that of which is a function of as i told you earlier it is a function of birth rate so birth rate and the death rate and also the migration so it may be stable for a long period of time then it may again step coming to a other other size other stage where the population number is size may be changed because of the changing birth rate changing death rate so it it is actually the jumping from one stages of society societal form their economy their culture and all other demographic characteristics so there are three different types of uh stages and three different types of population period different types of period actually it is not actually the period but it is related to the birth rate and the death rate which is sometimes it is high and sometimes it is low sometimes it is equated but in different stages so a period of stable population growth we may say is stable population growth where both the birth rate and death rate is high we may sometimes say this as the population stable stable population and it is found in the primitive stage where the economy was very poor where the agricultural practices are in a subsistence manner and where the birth rate of population is differ and equivalent to that of the death rate the people life is not secure so fertility is a matter of the societal needs so the in this slide you have seen you have seen a period of rapid population growth many different countries of the world has passing through stages first stage where birth rate is high and it is equivalent to that of the death rate 
in Indian situation, it is found in 1920s to 30s. 1901 to 20s, sorry, 1901 to 20s, we have find that the high birth rate, it was above 40, like that 40 to 50 and high death rate, that is also in between 40 to 50 or something, something slightly different from that. So, the population is got much, much, it is known as the stable population growth. It will give a very good example after giving you the figure. So, the second stage is high birth rate and the declining death rate. As I write it here, here, the period of rapid population growth. Here you see the high birth rate. Birth rate is becoming high, but it is the death rate is becoming low. Death rate is becoming low because of some social, some economic and some other political situations. So, the period of stationary population growth with the again it is accompanied by the low birth rate and the low death rate. Though the last stage, the three stage number three or sometimes we make it to different other stages population, then it is low birth rate, low death rate, it is the reason are quite different than that of the stage first where the high birth rate and the equally, equally high death rate. So, this is the graph you have seen according to this idea pre-industrial culture or we can define it as a pre-agricultural stage. Actually, these two stages are clumped together here, pre-industrial culture or pre-agricultural society, where the character is, which is characterized by the stable population growth with the high mortality and the high birth rate makes a minor assumptions and inhabitants of the, inhabits the population growth. So, here it is stage 1. Here it is the population figure is drawn like this. So, it is very much fluctuating high birth rate and accompanied by the high death rate. High birth rate and high death rate. That is why this period, this particular period, the population growth of the curve for the population growth rate is very much slow. So, in this way, you have seen that there is another curve where the population growth rate is high, but the death rate is slackening down. So, this is another stage when the population enter in the in this particular part, but the population growth rate curve it is much more higher. So, this stage is known as the population that stage is known as the high growth rate or we can say here the population uh, it is known as the period of high population growth rate. People do not know how to control the birth. People were not aware of how to control the birth. The situation was like that. It is entered in the agricultural society to industrial society, pre-industrial society, where the birth rate control is not allowed by the religious dogmas, religious books, religious priests they do not allow to control the birth, but in the meantime the fertility is highly accepted in the society. A female is considered highly estimated in the society where she can deliver a larger number of children. So, societal need is another that is the agriculture in the agricultural sector the more population is required in the agricultural field to do work. So, people prefer to have larger family size because not only it is the need for the parental security in their old age, but it is the need of the society. So, in this stage, the death rate is controlled to some extent because the societies are jumping from pre-agricultural society to agricultural society, but this agricultural society is not commercialized. It is not commercialized. So, the societal need is much more higher, but death rate is to some extent, it is, it is flattening down because of the improvement in transport and communication network. It is also because of the improvement in the transport and communication, it is in the improvement of distributional network. People are no longer remain suffering from lack of food. Food stability was there. So, which is absent in this period? I have forgotten in the first stage of the demographic transition, the people are mostly affected by the disease, by the famine, by the flood, by the drought. 
so the death rate is controlled so this is the situation which is overcoming which is found in most of the developing countries of the world so in the third stage of the demographic transition low birth rate and a low death rate because this again i i want to repeat the first stage high birth rate and the high death rate a country is at a low level of economic development here demographic transition theory is not only discuss about the economic development that means it is accompanied by other social factors also so demographic transition theory will give you some other clues regarding different countries of the world whether their culture is how the culture was in practice how the population number is working how the people are engaged in different work environment whether the male are participating only or whether the female are also working in the economic sector so that type of economic development was found agriculture is the major sources of income it is the major sources of income but agriculture was not in a very commercial form but in the meantime some other developmental works are taking place so mobility of the people is also starving it is also starting sorry it is also starting so people's level of living is poor due to the lack of medical services diseases femai i told i again repeat it femai illiteracy death rate is high death rate is high because of the high birth rate the death rate is high because of infant mortality rate is actually high because of lack of medical facilities and knowledge of the medical facilities knowledge of the sanitation was not found among the people so follow are the, the following are the most significant characteristics of this of this stage the bottom of the population pyramid it is again it is again a different chapter but yet you can uh, do a lot of work by preparing the pyramid by prepare the pyramid for different developing countries of the world so bottom of the population pyramid is expanding in the first stage the stable population with a high birth rate a high infant mortality rate a high death rate result in a low life expectancy as i told you earlier the life expectancy of the people that means from the beginning of the when the children is born and for how many years he will survive that is known as life expectancy so life expectancy of the people was low and in india if we take the example from india then you will get that people most of the people die at an early age that is around 40 45 43 years so this is the life expectancy there are a lot of young folk and a very few aged one high fertility rate eight or higher religious religion is the primary dominating factors which is controlled by the society the economy is the stagnant and there is no excess of subsistence style of life sierra leone and somalia some of the african countries we are taking examples from this the first stage has a high fertility rate and the high mortality rate because human reproduction is more to compensate for the higher death rate caused by disease and the erratic food availability population growth is sluggish and the majority of the people work in agricultural agriculture where big families are at advantageous position i repeatedly i have give you this example life expectancy is also low and the majority of the population is uneducated and the lack of access to modern technology so the second stage of the demographic transition theory india is found in this stage and many of the indian states are crossing this second stage of demographic transition in the second stage high birth rate and a low death rate is also known as a stage of population explosion population explosion the birth rate is high while the death rate is low during this period as a result the population growth rate is at a rapid speed at this point income becomes to grow and economic activities began to expand the mortality rate is rapidly decreases as a result of improved health care and the nutrition diet the socio economic background of the people is restricted the socio economic backwardness and the restricted access to contraceptions people still still in this stage the contraception or the birth control measure is not allowed by the religion so many of the religious religious many of the religious communities of the india of india and some other developing countries of the world are not accepting this contraceptions 
measure. So a population birth rate, so the birth rate is high. The following are the most significant characteristics of this stage. At this point of time, the population pyramid is rapidly growing. So natural growth rate is rapid, a high rate of birth rate as I told you earlier, a large number of fertility remains high. And it is a, it is a very important point that the fertility remains high because, because the fertility is highly esteemed. The woman without her children is considered as a barren and she is it is considered as a society as a curse. So, improvement in the sanitary condition also improve the life expectancy of the people. Then we entered in the third stage of demographic transition where the decline in birth rate and it is accompanied by the low death rate. In this third stage, low population growth is caused by the dropping birth rate and the low mortality rate. Along with these countries, economic progression, fundamental changes in the economy begin to take place. The mobility of the woman also improve. So, whenever women get a job, it is it's become a choice for her to have children, to have a car or to maintain the standard of living. So, the population control, the birth control is automatically it is found. So, birth rate is, it is quickly falling and this type of examples is we can example, we can set example from the state of Kerala. The death rate is regular, it is also gradually decreasing because of the improvement in the medical science, because of the improvement in the health sector, because of the improvement in the earning, earnings of the parents. The parents no longer depends upon their children for the security in their old age period. So, rising number of the senior citizen and these are the cases in the most of the developed countries of the world, especially in the European countries. This become a very important problem for the demographer. So, fourth stage. I have already discussed about it, no? Yes. I have already discussed about it. So, I just I want to say that the last stage of the demographic transition, fertility and the mortality both fall significantly in the last period. The population is either constant or steadily increasing. The population grows, the population grows urbanized, literized, technologically advanced and the family size is purpose, purposely limited. As I told you earlier, that the mobility of the female is also increasing. That is why the family sizes automatically it is became the uses of the uh, uses of the contraceptions, the uses of the other uh, delay in the marriage uh, uh, age. So all these are happening in the so automatically the population size is becoming low. So this is the demographic transition. You can draw this demographic transition theory by drawing this picture in a very clear manner. So these are the period the first period the total population growth rate is like that it is was very slow and very low it is between less than 5 birth rate is less than birth rate is very less death rate is very birth rate is high death rate is high almost same these two two line is drawn one is for the birth rate another is for the death rate this is the second rate so, where Egypt, Kenya, India, this, can, this is the population growth rate which is at a very steeper form because of the downing of this birth death rate, it is, it is very becoming down downwards. So, it, this is known as the early expansion, this is the period for the early expansion because birth rate remain almost same but the death rate is slackening down. So, very rapid increase of the population, most of the developing countries of the world are found in this stage. But India is just now crossing in the this stage. So, late expanding, we can express this as a less a late expanding, this is the natural increase. So, here also, this is also slightly it is coming up to this point. So, Kerala is found, Kerala is found in this particular position, low stationary USA, Japan, France, most of the developing developed countries of the world and most of the uh, North Indian, uh, North American countries. Japan, Asiatic countries. So, this, these are the very important countries of the world and they are, their lifestyle is also quite different. Their family size is already, their family size is looking down, high technology, advanced 
uh, in other science and technology they have uh, already controlled the family the choices are becoming a one of the very prime factor for the families so in this way so natural increase is also declining so this is the stage where the birth rate and the death rate is becoming slightly similar but yet the birth rate is slumming slightly it is coming down so this is the situation